Um, so I think we can do a better job individually on him and, and crowd him a little bit more. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think when he's able to get other people involved, um, they're, they're obviously, uh, I think it's, they're an old, better offensive team overall. And then real quick, do you guys still ring the bell at, at your practice facility? Uh, haven't done it. Well, we haven't practiced in a while, so uh, <laughs> haven't had much opportunity to. That, that the, bell is the, still, the bell is still there, though. Okay. That play in the first quarter where all five guys touched it and then uh, Anthony hit the three, I mean, that's kind of Blazer basketball, no? No, that was that was beautiful. We, we passed the ball really well tonight, 29 assists. Uh, uh, I think the, the looks that we got from three, most of them came off of good passing. Uh, so it was, that was good to see. Um, get them in rotation and, and making the right play. Jason Holdall, Trailblazers.com. Terry, uh, I'm sorry. In the, <laughs> in the second quarter of the play of, of Carmelo and Anthony, I guess actually into the first quarter as well, really seemed to give you guys a boost. Uh, can you talk about the way both those guys played tonight? Well, Melo obviously in the first half uh, scored 15, and uh, his uh, he gave us the boost that we needed. He had, he was in a good rhythm, shot the ball really well. Again, I think he was uh, he got good looks because of our passing, and then Anthony was just solid throughout the game. You know, his his shooting was good. His you know he just played a good four game. Uh, didn't make very many mistakes, but uh, he had he made some timely shots that that came up big for us. Like James, NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, so many games in this league this year have turned out the team that makes the most threes wins, and and, and it's obviously that way tonight again. They shot 50 percent from the field and, and got beat. And and I'm wondering, is that the way you want it? You, I mean, you guys hit so many of them. Are you comfortable with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Uh, look, we're a three-point shooting team. Uh, we got 43s up. I thought they were, for the most part, uh, they were good looks. And um, I, I think, and to be honest, I think we could have shot the ball even better. So um, I, I like the way we, I like the way we moved the ball and the quality of shots that we got. But yeah, we're we're not going to change things now. Adventures to Oregonian. Did you feel you guys did anything better defensively in the second half than you did in the first half that allowed you guys to allow for your points, or was it just them not making the shot? Um, well, they only had two second chance points in the second half. They didn't have any fast break points in the second half. Uh, and honestly, after the, I think they scored ten points in the first. They scored ten points in the first three minutes uh, off of miscommunication on cuts. Uh, so we we didn't give up a lot of easy stuff. After the first three minutes of the second half, um, I thought we did a good job of, of making them work for it and not giving up the easy ones, the offensive rebounds, the cuts, um, you know, fast breaks. That's, um, that's, I thought, what we did better in the second half. So did you tell the team they had to do a better job of preventing the offensive rebounds? Because I think they had nine in the first half and a bunch of second back. Yeah, second well, uh, they made... Yeah, well, obviously we, had, we addressed it with the team in the first half. They made both their runs. They came out came out, attacked the glass uh, early. Uh, we took care of it. We made our run, and then they made another run with uh, their offensive rebound. So we certainly addressed it during the first half, and we addressed it at halftime. Okay. Going back to Jason Quick with the athletic. Coach, uh, how would you describe what Nurk gave you guys tonight? Uh, he, he was solid. You know, he, uh, I thought offensively, he took what the game gave him. He got some rebounds. He finish around the paint, um, you know, defensively he had, it's a tough assignment and, um, you know, it's tough when you're guarding most likely the MVP and uh, and you're playing them straight up, that's a tough assignment, but I thought he competed um, and and we needed him. Coach, a great victory, uh, you get six Blazers and double figures and you play wonderful uh, perimeter defense. Um, just talk a little bit about getting game one and what that can do in terms of you're able to, uh, you basically have home court advantage now. Well, uh, we're not looking at the fact that 
home court or whatever, you know, we got to come out in game two and, and compete and win that one. It's, it's about winning the series. It's not about winning home court. So uh, it's good to get the get that first win in a playoff series, uh, getting game one. You know, to me, when you win uh, the odd number games, one, three, five, seven, those are key. And so getting game one, uh, it's a great start for us. Francisco, uh, around the game. Hi, Coach. I uh, wanted to ask you, uh, do you guys plan to go out the transition or do you like the rhythm as it is right now? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the first part. Do we plan to do what? To go out there in transition. Um, I I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. I'm sorry. To go, to go faster. Oh, to go transition. oh, get in transition. Um, you know, we're, uh, we look for opportunities when we have it, but, uh, you know, we're a medium-paced team. If we can get out in transition, uh, we like to, but um, it's not something that, that's not one of our strengths, but uh, I always want to be able to run, but it's, uh, you know, playoff games sometimes slow down. Leonardo Torres, Ophir Skill. The coach of Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Coach, coach, what are your thoughts on the team's defense of tonight, especially of the third quarter? Um, I thought after the first three minutes of the third quarter, um, we were we we're very good. You know, you look at the, uh, you know, they scored what 48, and they had 10 in the first first three minutes. So they scored uh, 38 points for the last 21 minutes of the game. So I thought. Uh, I thought we really locked in. We rebound the ball well. We didn't give up easy baskets. Uh, we contested their shots. So it was uh, the last 21 minutes of the game were uh, defensively pretty good. Last question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Coach, can you put into perspective uh, what Anthony has done this season? You know, I mean, there's a time where he was kind of fighting to stay in the rotation, and here he is in a, a big playoff game giving you huge, huge production. You know, it's um, it, it, he's, a, he's a young player, and he's gone through some growing pains, and uh, but he never lost, uh, you know, his, his work ethic or trying to get better. And, you know, obviously it's clicked for him for the last couple months, and, uh, and it's very timely. But... You know, that's the thing about the NBA. It's um, you got to keep working, uh, be ready for the opportunity for a young player. Be ready for the opportunity, and um, this is year three. And you know, it's uh, I'm glad he's stepping up because it's uh, uh, we need him.